Welcome to week five, Spiral Socks. These socks are super easy and we're going to have so much fun making them. So what is the project today? Well, today we are going to do Spiral Socks. Spiral Socks are a free download for hand knitters on, uh, I believe it's Knit It Now or one of those other sites. Let me see here. Okay, I found it on Yarnspirations. And all it is is um, knits and pearls. So we are going to convert it into a garter carriage project. So we will set up a simple 6x6 six six pattern for our 940. But you can use any knitting machine because it is a pattern of six pearls, six um, plain stitches. And then every six rows, you change the um, position of the six pearl and the six plain, making what appears to be a spiral going up the sock. These socks are also heelless. So we're, we are going to start with knitting flat because this whole thing's flat. We knit flat for uh, about 12 to 14 rows of ribbing. And then we start this spiral um, pattern. And we knit the entire sock from, from the ribbing to the, the toe cap. And then we switch to our regular carriage. And then we will knit the toe cap, move it on waist yarn, and seam it up. This is like one of the easiest patterns I have come across thus far. And I like the fact that we can use our wonderful garter carriage instead of doing all the work ourselves. So if you have a garter carriage, this is the project for you. If you don't, I'm sorry. You can always use your river. All right, so we'll get started on this little project. We need to ensure that this project appears to be seamless. And because it is in sets of six, we need to um, make sure that our sock width is in a set of six. And you want to make sure that they're not um, opposing sixes. So you actually want 43 left and 43 right for this project. I know that seems really, really wide, but this is also a Croy socks project. And traditionally, Croy socks have an elast elastomeric layer in them, so they tend to squeeze in on your feet and snug them. I'm not sure if everybody likes that, but that is the nature of the beast. I'm going to start with waist yarn and my main carriage and I'm going to put my cast on comb on my machine using the K carriage first and then when I go to put on my working yarn I will use the garter carriage for an e-wrap cast on. So we'll get started on the, um, the uh, cast on comb really simple lock my yarn find a cast on comb put it on the machine lock it on you see you have every other needle out that's important Tension six. I tilt my cast on comb so it doesn't sound horrible. And it stays out of the way of all the wheels. Lower it down. Unlocking it. Clipping it. Now I'm going to move my needles back into work. Going to knit one row. 
after I free that one. Okay. One more. Now I'm going to put some weight on it. So one at zero. One at 43. And the second at 43. I am also going to transfer stitch 44 to stitch 43. All right, now I'm just going to knit a couple rows. And this is how I keep my um, cast on comb out of the way of the garter carriage. Makes sense. Knitting across, snipping my yarn. Now I will get the garter carriage ready. all locked in. Deep breath. Turn on the, guard, uh, the knitting machine. Press step. I don't need that pattern. Press CE. Five, three, two. Step. Step. Five, three, two is the one by one ribbing. That's where we're going to start. Row counters at zero. Pressing Mimo button so that we can do our cast on with our garter carriage. Introducing our garter carriage. Bringing it right up to the work. We have it all locked in. Now we need to decide what tension they actually need. I think if I use tension three for the ribbing, I will be happier. So cast on, um, says single direction. I have it set for E wrap. I've introduced my power cord. I'm knitting one row. I'm removing my K carriage from the machine. Taking a deep breath. I'm going to do 14 rows of ribbing. I better make a note of that. So I have spiral sock. 14 rows. Tension three. Ribbing. Okay. Cast on rows first.
are going to insert L1 and insert R1 so that the last, well, the two end stitches are going to be knits, not purls. We are now going to take it out of cast on. We are still going to be going the opposite direction. We also need to take the machine out of Nemo. It will now knit perfectly. I also need to reset my row counter to 000. I'm going to knit 14 rows. So I set the row counter on the garter carriage to 14. I press go and it should knit without any issues. I didn't forget to set the uh, thing for all around, so I do that now. one more row and then I will turn off the camera because it gets really boring waiting for 14 days on the character image. So you get the idea. We will come back at row 14 and then we will uh, see what's going on. Okay, so here we are on our final row of ribbon. We're going to switch that to single direction. We're going to wait for it to finish the row. When this row is finished, we're going to put in our pattern, which I already programmed into my machine. But yet again, I will uh, reiterate, it is a six by six. And I will make sure that the six by six pattern is at the beginning of this um, video. It's almost done. We don't have to let it finish the noise part. Take the yarn out carefully. Lift the garter carriage, unlock the yarn, and move the garter carriage outside the turn mark. Now I need to put in my pattern. 
So I'm at 532. I need to cancel that. Go 901. Step. Step. And now it is ready. I'm now going to reverse the pattern on my garter carriage, put it for all around, and then I'm going to bring it back onto the bed. Bring it as close as I can. Putting the yarn back. Locking it in. I'm now going to up my tension to five. I'm going to put in 100 and 44 rows. So it's going to go back and forth 144 times, and then we will do the toe cap. That is how incredibly hard using a garter carriage is. So let's go. Now I have a little tiny loop where my take up didn't quite happen, it's normal, I will just work it in and we will be just fine, we will just hide it. No biggie. And this is how I'm going to spend the rest of my day watching my garden carriage knit my sock for me. I can go get a coffee, put my feet up, read a book. It's totally up to me. I'm quite sure you don't want to spend all day with me. You can reset your rope counter if you want to. Yeah, it's not very exciting yet. Here's another angle. So this is so exciting, we'll come back when we are closer to 144 rows next. Still working on it. I still have 100 and it goes to go. This is very beautiful yarn. So this is gonna take a while. So we'll check in every 30 rows or so, knit a couple rows and then off we go.
Okay, so we are just around 50 rows in. So about one third of the way done. As you can see, it's a long process. And uh, we'll check in every third or so, so about 100 rows. And then again, just before we do the toe cap. So there we go. And it's still going. I'm at row 92. I do have to say this is like the coolest one. I think we may have to do a couple rounds of these spiral socks using different methods. So we'll do two with a garter carriage and then two with a ribbon. So there's 51 more rows to go, and then we do the toe cap. Okay, we're at row 140. We have four more rows to go. All right, we have two rows to go. At the end of this row, it will be one row to go. Chances are we're going to have a little issue with that one. This is our last row. We are now putting the garden carriage into single direction.
I am removing the edge marker. You can see this is row 144. I'm just going to let this play out. All right, so this is now done. We are now going to switch carriages. I'm very careful with my garter carriage. Okay, we are now going to do a toe. Into half pitch, tension five. And I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go for the, um, toe cap. So just like before, we're putting the stitches into hold. Now on the carriage side, one into hold. We're going to work down to 17 stitches again. So we are going to bring forth some more um, claw weights. And let's go. Remember going down from 43 to 70. So about half. You can see the bubble forming. Going in behind. Okay, time for a little count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, got a little ways to go. That'd be twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. And this should be twenty. I'm going to move this claw weight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Correct. Nineteen. 
18, 17. One more across. Now, what do the instructions say? Carefully push the first needle into pull position opposite the carriage into upper. Ah! Okay, so now we're going to start working backwards. And I am going to wrap this first one. Because it's just what I do. Moving the claw weight. That claw weight again. All right. So what we have is perfection. So now when we move this one back, we will stop at the halfway point and then remove on waist yarn. Okay. I constantly take too much of this yarn. Uh, last time it was four. I'm going to do four again. So one. That's one. Two. Three. And that is four. I'm going to let it spring. Remove from the needles. I can just leave this hang down here. Not a big deal. Okay. Out of hold. Waste yarn. Hold it down beside. Um, about 10 rows. I'm going to latch tool this off and then I'm going to Kitchener stitch and seam it up. So here it is fresh off the machine before I remove the uh, waste yarn and seam it. There it is with the toe done. Seam is done. And here it is on my foot. Now we got to knit a second one.